Imagine if you were the only person with a phone in your city. What would you even need it for? Today, we are going to talk about Metcalfe's law and network effects. This is all part of building our fundamental knowledge of how technology is changing the world and us as a society. And it will tie in with the conversations we've been having around blockchain, crypto, Internet of Things, and more. So let's take a look at Metcalfe's law. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Metcalfe's law is a concept used in computer networks and telecommunication to represent the value of a network. It says that a network's impact is the square of the number of nodes in that network. For example, if a network has 10 nodes, its inherent value is 100. That is 10 times 10 equals 100. The end node can be computers, servers, or simply connecting users. That's how the value of social networks is calculated. The value increases each time a new user joins the platform. The network, its users, and the data that they bring to the mix becomes a powerful asset. They bring tangible and intangible value to the network. What good would it be to be the only user on TikTok, right? Now, the value of networks grows exponentially with the number of people using that network. Metcalfe's law says that every time you add a new user to a network, the number of connections increases in proportion to the square of the number of users. If you look at these pictures, you will see that the first network only has two users, which creates one connection. The second network has five participants, which creates 10 connections, and the last one has eight participants and 28 unique connections. After understanding Metcalfe's law, it's interesting to think about the effects on digital business and how successful these businesses can be depending on their network. This is what makes the internet so much more powerful. Network effects are a huge intensifier of scalability. As it becomes less expensive to create platforms to connect users, the users are also incentivized to invite their family and friends to join those networks. And that attracts the masses, which helps the networks gain a competitive advantage. We also call this network effect. For example, eBay may or may not have had the best auction website, but they clearly had the most users. Because this is so difficult to replicate, the power of network drove out other competition. Over time, Metcalfe's law was linked with the internet's substantial growth and how it worked in line with Moore's law, which I talked about in my last video. Be sure to watch that if you haven't. There are a few more of these laws and we will learn about them in this series. As we go deeper into our understanding of why and how the world is changing, these guiding principles will come to our aid. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.